Welcome to Interactive Locator, a collaborative educational mapping game for children, developed by Alaf Salim and Darren Andrichuk at the University of Calgary. This project was developed on a Microsoft Surface using Esri ArcGIS server. The game contains a GIS map, a stack of location cards, and four corner panels. The type of map can be changed to a satellite map and then back to a street map by tapping on the outer edge of a corner panel. This is a collaborative game where players work together on the same tasks. Players can pan around to different locations on the map using a single touch. Interactive Locator also supports multi-touch, so players can zoom in to specific areas of the map. Zooming can be done by anyone seated at the tabletop, but only one person at a time can perform this operation. Location cards can be removed from the pile and placed on the map in any order. To win the game, each location card must be correctly placed in its corresponding location on the map. Location cards that are correctly placed on the map will have a green border around them indicating that the placement is correct. Incorrect placements, on the other hand, will have red borders around them when placed on the map. Incorrect placements can be retrieved from the map by pressing and holding the image. A location card will reappear and the player can try again. One player can pan and zoom the map while the other one holds the location card waiting for the correct location to appear on the map. If the players are unable to get the correct placement of a location card, a tangible help object is provided. By placing this help object on the table, a halo appears underneath it. When the map is panned, the halo will change color. It will turn red as the players get closer to the actual location and it will turn blue if the players are getting further away. The metaphor we use here is red is, getting, is for getting warmer and blue is for getting colder. Finally, the system can be closed by pressing any of the corner panels. To avoid unintentional closing, it takes two people to close Interactive Locator.